and it's 200 years old. Today, we got a glimpse of what might be. Simply put, Friday's reveal of the Giant Leap's master plan was the end result of a long conversation. A two year mission to figure out what the next 50 will look like. The focus? Quality of life. I mean, when they talk about quality of life for a student, quality of life for a professor or a visiting professor, or quality of life for the extended Purdue family, which includes West Lafayette, I think that's a major focal point. So, how will Purdue improve quality of life here? It will start with identity and image. You can expect new gateways around campus, specifically one at Grant and State Street. It's going to change how people feel when they're on campus. It's going to be more inviting. Proposed new construction is bolded in gold, and renovations are in light blue. Construction is a mix of teaching, research, and collaborative spaces, as well as new housing options for students. It's going to hopefully turn it into more of a destination location. Purdue wants to enhance open space connectivity and campus circulation with projects like turning Third Street into a pedestrian mall. Car traffic will be taken away and it'll allow the students who come in mass from the west side to the east side to walk in a more comfortable, more safe environment. Memorial Mall and Agriculture Mall will look much different, and the university will work to bridge what it calls the island between the south side of campus near State Street to the north near Owen Hall and Stadium Drive in West Lafayette. This will complement the work and development being done in the Discovery Park District and through private organizations near campus. Ultimately, West Lafayette Mayor John Dennis says if you like what you see now at Purdue. Stand by. The future is just going to be amazing for West Lafayette and for Purdue University. Well, more on this plan can be found online at WLFI.com. Well, just before unveiling that plan, Purdue Board of Trustees voted.